Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to solve this. A second water linear differential equation with constant coefficients, but on the right-hand side, this is not equal to zero, so this is a non-homogeneous situation. But we have to find the yh first, right? The solution to its homogeneous differential equation first. So, uh, let me just write down the steps for you guys. First step, I need to find yh. And to do so, I'm just going to look at the left-hand side and then I will look at the right-hand side to be zero. And I'll change this to the r's, right? y double prime corresponds to r squared, and y prime to corresponds to r. So we have r squared plus 4r, and then this is no r, so it's minus 5. And we make this equal to zero. And let's go ahead and factor this and solve, right? So I'll factor this becomes r plus 5 times r minus 1, and this will be zero. And you know r will be negative 5, and r is equal to 1. So two r's, and they are different, so that's good. Well, yh, in our case, we know, let me put this down as the first one, which is c1 e to the negative 5t, and then we will add it with c2 e to the 1t, which is just t, like that, and that's yh. Okay? And next, step two. Because this is not a homogeneous situation, the right-hand side will have this. And the good thing is that this is just a linear function, right? Step two is to find yh, yp, I mean, to find yp. And in this case, look at the right-hand side. This is just, once again, a linear equation. So what I need to do is I have to set up, this is the trial solution for it, just a linear one as, as well. I will just need to have a t plus b, okay? A t plus b times no t. And you see, this right here, it's linearly independent than y h, so this is enough. Anyways, so this is y p, and then I will just go ahead and differentiate that. I will get a, and I'll differentiate this again, y p double prime, which will be zero, okay? Well, I have to plug in this into that, and then I need to solve for a and b. So, uh, you will see if I plug in uh, this right here for the second derivative becomes zero, right? And then we plug in the a into the first derivative. So I'll put down plus four a, and then we will have the minus five. The y is this. So I will just write this down. Parentheses a t plus b. And how to make this equal to, uh, let me just write down the negative 30t first. And then we have the 14, plus 14, okay? Right now, combine like terms and things like that, and then we equal coefficients. Uh, this is zero, so it doesn't matter. This right here is just 4a, and this times that is minus 5at, and this times that is minus 5b, and it's still equal to negative 30t plus 14. Okay, this is the only term that has the t, right? So let me just write it down, negative 5a, t. And this and that are just a constant, so let me just put this down as plus 4a minus 5b, and this is still equal to negative 30t plus 14. And now, equal coefficients. This must be the same as that, isn't it? Because this is the number in front of the t. So first thing, negative 5a has to be negative 30. Next, this is the constant part. It must be 14 right here. So we must have uh, 4a minus 5b equal 14, right? System of equations. Negative 5a is equal to negative 30. We can just go ahead and divide by, five, divide by negative 5 on both sides. This will tell me right away that a is equal to positive 6. Isn't it? And now plugging 6 into here, so we have 4 times 6, and then minus 5b, which is equal to 14. And then just work this out. This is 24 minus 5b is equal to 14. Subtract 24 on both sides, where we have negative 5b equal to negative 10. Divide by negative 5 on both sides, b is equal to positive 2. Okay, a is 6. Put it here, b is 2. Put it here. That's the yp, so you can write it down if you would like. yp is equal to 6t, and the b is 2, so you put down plus 2, like that. 
Okay, step one, done. Step two, done. Step three, let me just write it down here. This is my third step. Okay? This is the third step. Uh, final answer, pretty much. Why? By the superposition principle. The solution to that is YH plus YP. Okay, P stands for particular, H stands for the homogeneous case. And for the particular, we use the undeterminate coefficient to do that. Anyways, Y is just Y, and then YH is that, so I'll just put it down. C1 e to the negative 5t plus C2 e to the t, okay? And then for YP, which is that, so I'll just add it with plus 6t plus 2. Ta-da! This is the answer for it. Okay, not so bad, right? 